Hello, welcome to the first of a series of videos about coordinated systems in the body. We're working up to learning about how the body keeps itself stable and healthy, a process called homeostasis. But first, let's figure out what a coordinated system is. Right now, you're probably looking at a laptop. It has a lot of different parts that each perform a different function. The battery takes in energy when it's being charged and releases energy to the laptop to allow it to function. The keyboard is a tool to allow organisms outside the laptop, that's you, to put information into it. The microphone and camera are different tools to allow information to be received by the laptop. The screen means that the laptop can present information to you. The memory stores information and the chassis or the body holds everything together and protects the laptop from the outside environment. Now, each of these parts has a different function, but the only way the laptop can work as a laptop is if there's some way of coordinating the information and the requirements of each of the different parts. In the laptop, that's the processor, the chip that takes information in, like you typing or a live stream video from the internet or your speech through the microphone processes it and either stores it or puts it out again in some form. This is an example of a coordinated system, a complicated collection of parts which are controlled so that they work cooperatively. Another example of a coordinated system is a business, like a cafe. Numerous people within the business have different roles. Think of a chef, the waiter, the barista, the cleaner, the accountant and so on. Each person knows how to do their job. But in order for the cafe to operate effectively, there has to be some kind of coordination. Like when is the best time for the cleaning to happen? And who gives the daily financial information to the accountant? And how many waiters are needed? And which tables will each one take responsibility for? Should the barista take orders? Or is it better if someone else takes them and passes them along? So it's the manager or the owner of the cafe who provides the instructions that mean that all workers are coordinated. And the result is that the cafe is a really nice place to go and have lunch. Can you come up with some other examples of coordinated systems in our world? <laughs> 